So in chapter 5 of Frankenstein, he has managed to bring life to the creature. And in so bringing life to the creature, he has brought so much fear to himself, and he's so disgusted with the work that he's created, that he goes in and finally falls asleep. But when he awakens, he sees the creature before his eyes. The creature mumbles something to him and reaches out to grab him, but he's so scared that he jumps up, runs out of his room, and stays out all the rest of the night. When the morning comes, he starts wandering around the city, um, having spent all night out on the streets, and he finally stops at a place where all the carriages come into town, and his best friend, Henry Clerval, appears. And he's so excited and so happy that he forgets all about the creature. And he and Clerval walk back to his apartment, and once they get there, he becomes afraid because he realizes that the creature is probably still up in his apartment. He does not want Henry to know anything about it. So he has Henry wait and he runs upstairs and he quickly checks and the creature's gone. And he becomes extremely happy. Happier than Henry even saw him when he first arrived. And Henry's before mentioned how worried he was because Frankenstein was not writing letters to his family. But also he looked very thin and pale. And he has, they're there in his apartment, they have him bring food in, and they're having breakfast together, and in the midst of having breakfast, Frankenstein thinks he sees the creature walk into the room, and he becomes, he starts throwing a fit and becomes crazy, essentially, in front of Henry, and passes out. And for the next few months, Henry, who came there to finally study after his father gave him permission, spends his time sitting by Frankenstein, being his nurse, and healing him back to health. The chapter ends with him, with Frankenstein waking up and thanking Henry, and Henry simply asking him to write a letter to his family because his family is worried sick about him. And that is the chapter 5 of Frankenstein. Frankenstein.